Nightmare with a choke slam on GTA onto the ladder. Once again. Now slings him right into that table. Back suplex. Tried to suplex him into the table but missed. Now bashing on the head of GTA is Ronnie Nightmare. And the champion trying to pick it up here and gain some momentum and put this guy away long enough to climb up that ladder to retain his title as he just throws him through a table. Oh my God. Ronnie Nightmare with a devastating spear. GTA flew from the ring apron all the way into the barricade. Almost landed in the first front row at ringside. He gets out of trouble there. Big kick echoing around. I think he's through playing around. Nightmare going for the he Nightmare the Driver. Metal. And that was caused Part of GTA body. caught the ladder on that one. If I was Ronnie Nightmare, I'd be trying to get in there and climb up the ladder right now. But he's looking to do more damage. He's looking to send a message to GTA that he is the superior wrestler. And that he is the better man. Oh, no! GTA lifted Nightmare up over his head. How the hell does he have this big guy up like no, that? No, that Brings him down for a power slam. Looking like the British Bulldog over there. GTA lit the nightmare up again. Gonna try to press slam him. Not into the two tables. Nightmare fought out of it. steel steps both of these guys desperately trying to get the upper hand on their opponent they both know how important it is the loser leaves with nothing the winner has the uwf world television title until wwe 12 I, believe it. I just i mean that's concrete how do you do that to another human being GTA Dragon Nightmare over there closer to those double stack tables. Oh, look out! What's he gonna do now? Oh no. Oh my gosh. Sit down power bomb. Outside the ring. It offers absolutely no Trying to protection. figure out a way to pay Nightmare back for putting him through that table that you see trashed inside of the ring. Incredible oh display gosh. of strength by GTA and Nightmare just got put through that stack set of tables. I've never seen GTA this good. I've never seen him this focused and this determined to win. What impact. Me face you know, this is it. reversal there by GTA goes. now going for that go around and smacks Roddy Nightmare's head into the ladder off of the go-around move. The go-around finisher, I should say. GTA climbing up the ladder, trying to get his hands on the and title. This could be the Money in the Bank match right here. And he has it. Can he bring it down? Nightmare back up to his feet. All of a sudden... Power bombing GTA off of that ladder. He's looking to put his opponent away. Right nightmare here. going for the nightmare driver. It looks like. What an incredible suplex! And hits GTA with it right in the middle of the ring. This is Rodney Nightmare's opportunity right to retain his championship. GTA is not getting up anytime soon. What is Ronnie Nightmare waiting for? Climb up the ladder and grab your title. Nightmare choosing not to do that. I guess he's not listening to me. 
He can't hear me. Oh, look at this. Trying to inflict more damage on GTA. Stomps on his midsection and hits him with a clothesline while he's still down on the mat. Now Nightmare climbing up the ladder. Going off of the top of the ladder and lands two knees right in the midsection of GTA. Now hitting him with a clothesline from hell, or from parts unknown, I should say. Nightmare going for that. Dominator. Now Nightmare should have the title well in hand. This match is pretty much over with. It looks like Ronnie Nightmare is going to retain UWF TV title. GTA still down on the mat. And Nightmare's hand slipped off the briefcase as GTA got up to his feet. Somehow GTA caught a second win and fought his way up off of the mat. He almost took his head off with that lariat. And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. Even though this match didn't have a lot of hype, because it was made at the last minute, Did it's living up to every bit of that little bit of hype. Human flesh on that ladder. I have been thoroughly entertained by the efforts of these two competitors. Both guys leaving it all in the ring, putting it all on the line, going balls out. Christ. Nightmare just fell a very long way and got tangled up into the ropes on the way down. Now GTA trying to military press slam him again. That, absolutely incredible that time move. turns it into a gut buster. Oh, good night. Vicious butterfly, butterfly backbreaker by GTA. The Magma somehow, some way, still in this match. He's just brutalizing his opponent with that table. GTA putting Nightmare onto that table. What's he gonna do here? He's heading back the Magma up. going up to the top rope. Hits the Frog reason. Splash. Crashing Nightmare through the table. I am very impressed with what I'm seeing from GTA. I can't say it enough. He is really taking it to Ronnie Nightmare. Continues. Here in this match. This is it. Here he goes. GTA with a shining wizard over there. Turns it into a cutter. Off of the second or top rope. Nightmare is down and he is out. This is GTA's chance. Repositions the ladder. Slowly climbing up, rung by damn rung. And got his hands on the title. And he does it. GTA pulls down the briefcase. He is the new UWF World Television Champion. He beats Ronnie Nightmare. Approaching the ring from New York, New York, the champ. I don't know how you follow up that tables, ladders, and chairs match between GTA and Ronnie Nightmare. So we're going to try to do it here as Diamond is getting ready to take on Icky in a rematch from UWF Stars number 40. Diamond was victorious. Got a clean win over Icky. He's going to try to do it here again under the bright lights at UWF Survival 2011. The very last UWF show on SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 online. No, Diamond and Icky do not have custom interest music for this because they were late. They were both very late. They're going to have to go with what they had. Back 
Diamond looks ready. Icky. Icky has not been getting a lot of wins. Been on the losing side more times than he has winning side. Trying to get a win in this rematch against Diamond. What a way to go out on SVR 2011 for Icky here at UWS Survival. If he's able to avenge that defeat that he had to Diamond already. want to see if Vicky can do it. Does he have what it takes? Has he learned from the mistakes he made in the last match? Or is Diamond just that much better than him right now? I think Icky can do it. I think Icky has it in him. I think Diamond better watch out. This is a one-on-one -on -one match. Remember what's at stake here. Looks like there's a little bit of lag in this match. These guys are just going to have to deal with it. Icky immediately throwing Diamond out onto the apron. Bringing him back in with a decapitator DDT. Big time shoulder block by Icky. Sends Diamond down. What a vicious shot with the knee. Straight out the gate. Icky is trying to let Diamond know that he is for real and he wants to beat him. Oh man. How much damage did that Nice move on the comeback by Diamond. And there are those Stomping the shit out of Icky right now. Icky's gonna have to do something. Get back I on the offensive. This is a no disqualification match. We can see anything in this one. Spine Sit first. down, power bomb. Diamond just planting Icky in the middle of the ring with ease. Diamond throwing Icky over the top rope onto the apron. Icky fights him off. Now coming back into the ring and that hits him with a beautiful suplex. overhead T-bone suplex. Both guys missing with kicks right now. Thank you once again for joining Looked like Diamond ran in for that running knee. And Icky able to counter with a tilt to world backbreaker. With the abdomen. Now another DDT by Icky. Diamond able to get up off the mat. Put a boot right to Icky's gut. And if you're Icky, you can't continue to let that happen. You have to follow up. When you have Diamond down, oh, and he's that, hurt. You're not seeing stars. You're looking at Constellation. Irish whip by Diamond. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Sitting Icky up on that top turnbuckle. And a DDT with Icky hanging by his feet off of the top rope. Great way to answer back by Diamond. He's got him up. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. 